Five states in Malaysia have been affected by flooding as a result of non-stop rain, with Johor in the south being the worst affected. More than 31,000 individuals have been moved to 232 impermanent alleviation places cross-country as the climate office anticipated consistent weighty storms until Saturday. More than 29,000 people from over 7,800 families have been affected by flooding in all 10 districts in Johor, and as of 4 p.m. on Thursday, 193 temporary flood relief centers were hosting them. Azmi Rouhani, the state secretary for Johor, said that this was one of the worst floods that had ever hit the state in recent years. She blamed the high tide phenomenon and the ongoing heavy rain. The districts of Kluang, Batu Pahat, and Kota Tinggi were the next hardest hit, followed by Segamat. In Segamat, the quaint town of Cha was completely submerged in water. The worst flood in 20 years, according to locals, left many people stranded in their homes for up to 12 hours before being rescued from rising waters. In Segamat, two elderly residents were said to have drowned in separate incidents. On Wednesday, the victims' homes, both in their 70s and living together, were discovered, according to police. The most recent incidents bring the number of flood-related deaths in Johor to three. A helicopter was used by Johor Prince Tunku Idris's Kandar Sultan Ibrahim to deliver food and personal hygiene supplies to two 100 Cha residents. On Wednesday night, Johor Crown Prince Tunku Ismail Sultan Ibrahim paid a visit to flood victims at a Kluang relief center. According to Deputy Prime Minister Zahid Hamidi, the rain fell at such an extraordinary level that the Johor River burst its banks.